guys, ENMC here, and welcome to episode 35 of ENMC Play Saints Row the Third. This is going to be a big deal. I'm actually going to shut off the mic now because there's a cutscene coming. Ready? One. Tonight's been a great night, and it's not slowing up, Bobby. An incredible night, Zach. And now it's time for the main event. I can't wait. Let's do it. <laughs> there he is, Bobby. Eddie Kilbane Pryor, the walking apocalypse himself. You can't help but wonder how the Stillwater Butcher can't compete. I'll tell you, Zach, this psycho is a complete whack job. You know, when he came out of the womb, this guy literally choked out the doctor with his own umbilical cord. He's that fucking sick. I'll be ringside keeping luchadors off your ass while you finish Kilbane. Good luck, man. Well, there it is, Bobby. The Saints receiving no love here. Not at all. It is raining hate down where they are. And of course it is. After what their capo did to Stillwater, they're lucky the fans aren't knifing them on their way to the ring. Wait, oh my God, look at that. It's Angel de la Muerte. Angel de la Muerte, the second half of a Pale Riders, sometimes regarded as the herald of a walking apocalypse. The youngest wrestler to ever win the Super K Cup is here in the Steelport Arena. History is writing itself tonight, Zach. After his questionable loss to Kilbane years ago, Angel dropped off the face of the earth. If you're a fan of Murder Brawl, this is shaping up to be the best night of your life. Okay, I like the fact that they're building it up. And yeah, one of the answers is Rob Van Dam of WWE fame, so that makes it a little weirder. More interesting. And yeah, we'll be taking a break in between doing, uh, after the DLC. After I'm done with Wait. This is just turned into Wait, this is a cricket bat. With a saw attached to it, apparently. Who designed this? really adds another layer to the whole dimension. That's what I wanna know. Mark of shame in the and these guys seem to fall very easily, which is something I... Wait, I could hit them with a shark? I could hit people with a shark! <laughs> oh my god, the angel is out of the ring! I can't believe this, Bobby. This is punishing to watch. The luchadors are manhandling angels. He's getting kicked around like a sack full of dead puppies. Oh, geez. Wait, the Butcher of Stillwater is making his way towards Angel. How much can one person be expected to... Oh my god, a chainsaw! What the f***? Oh my god! Yeah, a chainsaw, motherfuckers. A chainsaw that doesn't actually appear to be on at all. And I like the fact that they call it the Murder Ball Chainsaw. It makes me think, has a chainsaw been used at this event before? WrestleMania would be a lot weirder if they allowed people... Yeah, this is basically their version of WrestleMania. Which is a little weird. I would say it's a little weird considering THQ at the time had the WWE license. They don't anymore. Not, you know, uh, THQ has officially gone the way of, you know, companies like Acclaim, but... Here's my other main prop, main goal with that. Yeah, I am gonna go in there and beat Kill. It's time for us to fight Killbang, guys. Fight they paid for as the Butcher of Stillwater stands toe to toe with Killbang. No. Time for me to get in there. I'm gonna beat them. And no, it wasn't a saint tactic. I really think Angel was meant to beat him up. Oopsie. Rip that mask off your fucking face. I'm through with you. You'll be begging for me to kill you? Really? I will be? I'll be begging for you to kill me? Really serious, folks. Really? Who the fuck wrote this? Yeah. Violence in the ring. Really? So you guys aren't aware that your supposed guy who wants to leave violence in the ring? 
is actually not leaving it in the ring. He's the leader of a criminal organization. Or did that never become acknowledged by anybody? Actually, no, I don't think. I don't think Jane even knows she was connect that this guy was connected to the syndicate at all. Yeah, if Jane had known, she would have brought it up during the interview. I don't think uh, anybody knew it. I don't think it's a well-known fact. And yeah, uh, the boss is a celebrity. Yeah, mind you, next game. President of the fucking United States of America. And no, I'm not make insulting America, guys. Oh, great. Kilbane gets back up. Why? Why? I have to do this again? Seriously. I have to do it again. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I have uh, pulled it off in WWE uh, 2K15, <laughs> which is weird. I, I like to compare the stuff that I do in 2K15 uh, to a lot of the stuff I do in this little thing. Actually, any WWE game, especially at the time, I think the ones that THQ was making, which may not be a, that much of a coincidence, considering... You gotta remember, this game came out around the exact same time as uh, WWE 2K, uh, you know... Not WWE 2K, WWE 13, I think, or 12. And one of them has the, uh, does have Hulk Hogan in it. Uh, this, the one that came out around the same time as this game didn't. The one, the much later one, however, does have Hulk in it, so that's pretty cool. I bring up Hulk because, yeah, mind you, he's the voice of Angel de la Morte. The guy who, uh, you're, you're fighting this battle because this a-hole basically hurt him. Hey, wait, what's this? A tiki torch. Seriously, if that was let into a WWE ring, that would get you disqualified immediately because where did you get the tiki torch? I seriously doubt, because the ref would be, I doubt you got that from under the ring. We don't have tiki torches down there. <laughs> you can argue all you want, RVD. There are no torches down there. You can argue all you want, tri Trips. You can argue all you want, Hunter, there is none down there. See, uh, you can argue all you want, but I doubt you got that from under the ring. And that I actually have done. Hunt somebody up by the ring, at least in the WWE video games. Hunt somebody up and by uh, their legs all the way over there, and then uh, hit them. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, it's a wrestling tactic. It's an actual wrestling tactic, believe it or not. I'm not joking, it is a, uh, a legit wrestling tactic. And I don't really need the points anymore, considering I'm now at level 50. But, yeah, because I'm already, yeah, I, I leveled up while I was off camera, guys. I'm now level 50, I have unlimited ammo. Unlim I can't be damaged by bullets. I'm pretty much a god, essentially. I'm glad. I'm too bad they didn't bring back the uh, you know bullet immunity when they did Saints Row the third. Not Saints Row the third. This is Saints Row the third when they did Saints Row four. But I guess I guess they were trimming out the fat and realized it's not really all that fun if you're immortal the entire game. I mean, you already have superpowers. Immunity to bullets is a little too much. That a little. But, however, I will say this much. Despite the immunity to bullets being removed, uh, uh, getting the superpowers is a sacrifice. I'm happy that they made to get that into the game. To put the superpowers there. And uh, I am not sure what to do. Do I get the secret of the Apocalypse? Okay, it depends on what you do. And it tells you the rewards. Kilbane's mask, uh, the Apocalypse weapon. And I have to admit, the Apocalypse is actually a better weapon. Because, uh, you can actually, because it gets, it's like the Sonic, it's as powerful as the Sonic Boom without, uh, without the charging of said weapon. Uh, and I agree with that. And that makes it good in my book. Because you can, uh, but you, you can get bloody gibbs without the charging of the sign. You gotta love it. Against all odds, the Saints are still standing. What a night, Zach. What a night. Mm -hmm. 
Kilbane, it's just a match. It's my fucking reputation! This is my city. I am it, Caesar! Oh. And I get to fiddle while it burns. Okay, there's only one problem with that metaphor. It was Nero that filled while Rome burned, not Jul not Caesar. And number two, uh, when is the WWE 2K15 D DLC pack for the Warrior Path of the Warrior coming out? I want to know. Is are, are those DLC packs exclusive only to the uh, 360 and you know uh, PS4 versions? Because if they are, then bullshit. You need to make them. Unexclusive 2K. You can't pull this bullshit with every sport game you do. Some stuff. I mean, the my career thing that it is exclusive to the next gen consoles. Sadly, the new only next gen console I'm getting will this year will be a Wii, Wii U, and mostly so I can do Wii games, so I can capture Wii games, but uh, and Wii U games. But uh, yeah, other than that, I don't think. There's a Wii U version of WWE 2K15. If there was, I and they took out a lot of features from 2K14 that I liked. But uh, I'm complaining about another game in the middle of a game let's play, uh, which is not really something you do. Yeah, three way is actually the finale of uh, the entire game. What makes that really sad is I still have stuff I have to do. <laughs> Before I can take, before I can say that my the game is like a hundred percent, and I'm not kidding. It does tell you how much of the game you've completed. Check it out. This is how much. I only have 88. And I should note that one of the missions you need to complete to uh, get this territory, the Rosen Oaks territory, and everything is this. This escort mission, when it says hard in the difficulty, they're not fucking lying! Anyway, I'll see you guys for what will be the last episode of this... Well, not the Let's Play in general, but of the main storyline, because I still have a few things I have to do. One of which... One is Genki Bowl... I forget which one this is. It's some number. This, Gangsters in Space, and... Uh, this, the trouble with clones, which is no longer canon, by the way, in my opinion. Uh, despite the fact that I love the fact I am uh, like that one mostly because it's what gave us the powers in Saints Row 4. Anyway, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next episode. Later!